Chickens must be hungry this morning. They're crossing the road. Hopefully they don't get hit by some cars, huh? So a couple of my uncles and I got a cousin that's wanting me to make them some flagpoles out of this two and three eighths inch drill pipe. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm not too sure because this drill pipe has actually got quite a bit of flex to it. So I don't know if you stand it up you know, 20 feet in the air, you know, what, what it'll look like in the wind, if it'll get, have some flex or, or whatnot. But we're gonna try it and just see what happens. So my idea was, so I got a bunch of these old horseshoes. So I'm thinking about cutting this in half and then using the horseshoes for the cleats on the bottom to wrap the ro rope around. Then I've got a couple of these little eyelets that I'd used when I was building some cable fence to run the cable through. So I'm thinking of sticking that up there on top to act as a pulley, maybe even attach a pulley to the top of it to see any rope through. And my brother-in-law gave me some of these giant uh, ball bearings. They came out of a, I don't know where they came out of them. Came out of, but I was seeing the cap on the top of this flagpole with the ball bearing, like so. So that'll be a pretty redneck flagpole there. Drill pipe, ball bearings, horseshoes, and <laughs> cable ties. So we're gonna try it, try it out and see how it, how it looks and how it works for them. The next thing I need to buy is another, another grinder. So I like having one with the grinding wheel on it and I like having one with a, like a wire wheel just to clean things up. So this, this old behemoth, I'm gonna try to use it. So I got this little dinky wire wheel on there. And yeah, we'll see, try to clean up this horseshoe with that and see how it goes. Knocking out the all the horseshoe nails. Almost in a smaller punch. I'll use that um, that wire wheel try to clean all this up and polish it up and we'll probably just cut it right in half you know and mount it like so on the pipe let's see how our old craftsman wire wheel does <sighs> like this thing huh little dinky wire wheel on there <laughs> on for that. Check that out. Cleaned it up pretty nice. Well, I'll just do the other half and it's all good. Looks like I got another little nail hole I need to clean out real quick. So yeah, that's the idea. Let's bring it along as we put it together. See how it turns out.
So I got everything cleaned off and ready to go. So I polished off my little um, cable holder. So like I said, I'm just gonna stick that up here at the top like so. Then we can attach a pulley or something at the top. And I polished off this ball bearing. I don't know if this is welderable or not. I don't know if I can weld this, but we're sure gonna try. It's got some weight to it. It's like a big, it's like a cannonball, I guess. So I think so we're gonna stick that right in the top like so. Weld that on there. Have our little um, holder right there. And down here at the other end, we're gonna use them horseshoes that we cleaned up and cut in half. So I'm assuming my uncle's gonna put this three or four feet in the ground. So I went up to about seven feet from the end there. This is where we'll put our horseshoes at. So I have a horseshoe like that. Another horseshoe will, you know, be like that. And you can wrap your rope around it and tie things off. So yeah, we'll give it a try. Maybe it'll work out better than we think it will. So, but I gotta go, my cousin's pouring his foundation today. So I'm gonna run up to their place and help them uh, do the concrete and pour foundation. So we'll hopefully get back to this later on today. So I got my Uncle Rick's flagpole done. This, this bearing ball, it welded up all right. It kind of spit back a little bit at me, but I got a good weld on there and it's not gonna come off, that's <laughs> for sure. And like I said, I got my little eyelet here welded on. I imagine, imagine we'll just clip a, a pulley onto this that you can run your rope up through and then back down. So this is what this end looks like. Kind of welded up pretty nice. And yeah, So then looking down here, I did, I made my cleat out of horseshoes. I just used two horseshoes and kind of made a cleat out of it. So then, you know, this is where you're gonna be able to wrap your rope and tie off your flag up there at the top. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I like the horseshoes, it's kind of got a neat little style to it. I feel pretty happy with it. I think it turned out pretty good. I think Uncle Rick will be happy with it. So yeah, horseshoes for the cleats. Like I said, a ball bearing for the, the cap and then just a cable I let, that I stick on posts for the, for the hook for the flag. All done. It's kind of a fun little project. Never built one before, so it's kind of fun working through it and thinking about how I wanted to do it. And happy for, I'm happy with how it turned out. So anyway, you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you all later.